welcome back to Steph Miss. Can you guys believe today is day nine? We are almost in the double digits and I honestly can't believe your girl is keeping up with this. So let's get into this freaking video. So this video will be discussing non-scale victories. I decided to do this video because as you all know, I'm on the 30 days of fitness. I'm doing a program of getting my life back in order for the new year. And so I get asked all the time of a lot of information about fitness so many people don't talk about the non-scale victories and this kind of came in to play because my coach was like talking about non-scale victories and I'm like you know what I'm gonna go on my channel and do a video on it because so many people don't realize the beauty in non-scale victory. So I want to shed some light on it. I came, I didn't come up with nine things. Well, I kind of came up with nine things that kind of can get you motivated to stay on top of your fitness goals. Because listen, losing weight is hard and the scale is not your friend. I tell people this all the time, but, but I don't get on the scale. There's no point. Because if you get on the scale, it will destroy it will discourage you sometimes. And sometimes you're gaining muscle, sometimes you have water weight. There's so many key factors that come into that number that you shouldn't even let it determine you being healthy. So let's get into this video. So the first thing is your pants are feeling loose. So the other day, my pants were falling off me so bad, I had to roll them up because they were not the type of pants that had a belt buckle in them. And when I was at work, I felt so embarrassed, but I said, oh snap, this is a non-scale victory because I don't even have to get on the scale to see that my body is doing stuff. And you feel good about it. You feel good about your pants feeling less tight. Yes. Number two, you feel more endurance. So when you're at the gym, maybe you can't do five, a whole five to 10 minutes on that elliptical, but now you start to see that you can take it up a notch and you feel so much better. Let me tell you, when I first got on the Stairmaster, I could only do five minutes. Now, do you wanna know how many minutes I do on that bad boy? I do a total of like 30 to 40 minutes. Yes, because my endurance has kicked up. You know, I'm starting to feel my energy level is starting to get into there. So I'm feeling good and it all plays a key factor. And you, some people don't even realize the beauty in it that we get so caught up on the number that we don't look at how we feel inside versus the outside. Number three, your rings are loose. So for me, my rings are now starting to turn again. So I'm... Um, like before I used to wear my rings all the time at the gym, but I don't have them on right now because I just came from the gym. So I would take it off because your girl lost them. Yeah, about that. Um, so now I'm noticing that my rings are turning. I have to constantly turn them. It, you know, it can be annoying, but then you look at it like, oh, I never even knew my fingers could lose weight. Like the first time of me losing weight, I was like, why is my rings like about to fall off? But I never realized that you still can lose like fat off your freaking fingers, which is so cool when you actually think about it because it's like these little baby hands. <laughs> Number four, your inching, <laughs> inches are lost. <laughs> I cannot get that word to save a life, but you know what? We're gonna rock on. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. But yeah, so now you're noticing your pants are falling off. You notice that shirt is fitting you much looser. Your bra strap isn't as tight as it used to be. Shoot, I gotta get me some new bras as we speak because my boobs are losing weight. I'm losing that fat in the boob and I'm losing inches around the waist. So those are key areas you definitely want to pay attention to when losing weight because we get so caught up in that number that we don't even realize what our body is doing to us. In the first, my first round, I got so caught up in the number that I didn't even realize I was losing so much freaking fat that I was a stick. Yeah, and your girl ain't doing that this round. I like my curves. <laughs> and number five, I kind of said this with the endurance. Your energy level is kicking in. So now that energy is kicking in. You feel good. You can walk down the block without feeling out of breath. I remember it took me, when I was like 300 pounds, it took me for the longest time to walk down the street. And I used to cry because I was so out of breath. And I used to be like, <sighs> 
And then now, I, then I would notice like my energy is like kicking in and it's like, I feel good. I can walk longer now. I don't feel out of breath. I can walk those stairs. I don't have to take the elevator. You know, we, we don't pay attention to these things. So these things are so important. Number six, you can lift heavier. So have you ever noticed when you're lifting weights that you are no longer stuck at three pounds, you're now at five pounds, or maybe you're at 10 pounds. Maybe you're taking it, if you're at the gym, you know how they have different weights. Maybe you're, you're benching like 130 pounds. I know for me, my have, I have, I'm stronger in my legs versus my upper body. So I'm working on that. But my legs, I can bench press like one, what's the dang on number, like 130. So when you notice that you can take your weights higher, Girl, you are winning, or dude, you are winning too. Number seven, you can do more push-ups. Your girl hates push-ups. I don't like them. I think they are brutal, but I can do some, but I notice like once I really put all the key aspects into play, I can do more because I'm feeling good, you know, I'm not as out of breath anymore, my muscles are kicking in and I'm getting it done, you know, and if you even if you aren't doing push-ups, think about an exercise that you actually do that you can do where you started at, but now you can do 10 times better. That's a, one thing, like what was one thing? I used to could not do um, lunges to save my freaking life. And now I can do so many now because I feel good. And this leads into number eight, you're feeling stronger. You're feeling stronger because you're able to lift more. You're feeling stronger because you are handling it mentally. Let's not forget that when it comes to your meal prepping, you're feeling stronger because you can go out here and know that you don't you don't have to indulge in fatty items because your mental is kicking in and you're like, yes, girl, I got this. Feeling stronger is can be anything with your fitness or the food prep that you have to do because being strong is so important in this journey because you will be tempted out the booty and when you have a strong mental i feel like that is something that no one can take from you in this freaking journey yeah yeah especially when you're at work and they want to be bringing in donuts or they want to be bringing in pizza why every week y'all want to have a dang going potluck can we have a healthy potluck for once? And number nine, you are more motivated than ever. You're out here inspiring people that you don't even know. You know, you're you're working out, you're handling your business, you're doing everything that you can possibly do to take on this, this weight loss because it's not easy. It's something that you've probably been working time after time on, but now you're at a point in your life where you're stronger, your endurance is kicking up, that energy is out of this world, and you can lift more. You know, don't pay attention to the scale. We're, focus on these non-scale victories because this will be the key to you accomplishing all of the weight loss goals that you have because it's not easy. I can say that like 50 million times that it's not easy because listen, it's not supposed to be easy because when you think about it, if you, lost, if you gained so much weight, you took so much time to gain that weight. So now you have to think about how long it will take you to get there, depending on how motivated you are and how inspired you can be. So non-scale victories are the bomb dot com dot org let's throw that out there <laughs> um, I'm trying to find a photo so I may clip it in at the end to show you guys like another great advice is take photos of you in an outfit and put that same outfit on at the at the end of whatever you're trying to do say you're trying to go 30 days or you're trying to go 50 60 days whatever it is do photos tell the story of how you are losing your weight and you don't even realize it and I'm gonna post like a face photo and then I'm gonna show you guys like a full body photo I was at work and I was looking at my badge and I'm like my face was so fat like what the world and then when I looked at a picture of me now with my face because sometimes we don't pay attention to them that's why I say photos and pictures the gateway to keeping you motivated in this freaking journey. 
So guys, really hope you like this addition into Steph Miss. Told you guys I'm gonna spice it up with different things because I wanna keep it as realistic as possible. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video as well because you helped me out. Um, <clears throat> and let's keep slaying 25 days of Steph Miss. We're almost at the end, but we're halfway there. And I'm proud. I'm gonna keep saying that in every video. So, all right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Jingle bell, 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 bell.